Neil were two days on from the game against Lincoln, you probably had a chance to, to watch it back. There's so many elements that you're happy with generally, but just that frustration still hanging over a little bit. Yeah, a bit of both. More, more, um, more strengthening the confidence from what we can take from the performance. That, that that's sort of the overriding feeling. You, you can't um, escape that feeling of an uh, annoyment, um, anger. It's still there but much less so than what it was after the game on Saturday. And if you analyse the game over 90, 95 minutes, there was a lot of positives to take. Um, I thought we were we were very good as an away team, um, deservedly 2-0 up and could have been more. So to do that to a team that's, you know, fellow playoff contenders and weren't so that long ago top of the league, um, I think it strengthens and belief in us as a team and what we're doing. Um, of course, still the anger that we didn't pick up the three points because uh, if we'd have defended two instants slightly better, or even one of them, then um, we'd, have, we'd have picked up another three points on the road. I suppose normally when you do have a bit of a setback or, or lessons to learn, it comes in a defeat and fortunately it means the unbeaten run carries on and you still take a point and move forward. Yeah, it, it obviously didn't feel like that straight after the game. It, it does feel like a defeat because of the manner. If you... If you come back from 2-0 down and draw 2-2, you, you feel differently. So it is important that psychologically you you, re, you remind yourselves of the good things you've done in the game. And it is a, it is a point. It was it does mean that we're still unbeaten. And it was a good performance. If it was a, a smash and grab, snatch a, a, a draw, it's different. But the manner in which we drew the game, um, I say we can draw a lot of confidence from and. Um, it means that we've been consistent now for a long period of time, um, and you know we we've got quite a few games to go. And if we can keep up with that level of performance, then I'm confident we'll you know we'll we'll win football games. Yeah, I was going to say eight games to go now. Is 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 that the message exactly that? Yeah, you can only affect what what you know what the game that's coming up. Um, we have to quickly move on. We've got a tough game tomorrow night against Accrington. It'll be different from the game we face on Saturday. Um, um, we have to learn from the game. No, every game's a chance to, you know, what do we need to do better? So we're in that situation again. Um, how would we manage the game better? Um, what do we need to do? Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's from the staff talking about what could we have done? Is there anything we could have helped the players with? And what can the players do on the pitch that, that helps us to manage that situation better? But it's gone. We move on. Um, and we've got some tough and exciting games to look forward to. This game against Accrington, two sides going in there looking for that improvement. Yeah, because you know Accrington and uh, Accrington are obviously off a bad result from the weekend. Um, but the last time they had a bad result, not so long ago at Peterborough, they went and picked up four points in the next two games, and they went to Oxford and won. And we know how difficult that is to go to a place like Oxford and win. So it shows you the ability they've got in the team. It shows you the type of team they are. I think they're a dangerous proposition after a defeat. Um, I think John and his staff and the team at Accrington have proven over many, many years that um, you don't underestimate them. And um, they're used to playing against the odds, so to speak, and playing against adversity. So we won't be in any way, shape or form underestimating the the, the type of um, game we've got tomorrow night, that's for certain. How's the squad shaping up ahead of this one? Uh, we have no injuries to report from Saturday. Um, Demi is hopefully going to train today. If he does and comes through, then he'll be back into contention for the squad. Um, so other than him, uh, the the squad will be very similar to what it was um, on Saturday. In terms of the, the longer term ones that you're hoping to get back before the season's out, what's the latest there? Yeah, Gary Medine went to see a specialist on Friday, and uh, had some, you know, we had some news that we hope makes his injury easier to manage in the next week or two. If that's the case, um, then fingers crossed we can start to push him back because he's, you know, he's very frustrated as we all are and he wants to come back and help us. And um, if the next two weeks goes well, then he would be you know, a big, big player for us to get back at the end of the season. Uh, um, Kev Stewart's back out on the grass, has been doing a little bit of running today um, and feels fine, but that was his sort of first steps back onto the pitch for a few weeks. So 
if we can step him back up uh, in the next few weeks then he won't be too far away and Keshi continues to keep working um, and again you, you know you, he's not you're looking more right at the end of the season and if Keshi does come back before the end of the season that'll be that'll be a big bonus for us